Whether you work in a hospital in downtown Toronto or a long-term care home in Sudbury or live in a fly-in community in the far north, I want all Ontarians to know that your mental health is as important as your physical health. Just as we've always put your physical health and safety first, we have your back when it comes to mental wellness. It's why we invested $12 million to immediately expand online and virtual mental health supports for everyone who has been self-isolating, for those in the trenches, our first responders and frontline healthcare workers, for our young people. And I'm proud to announce today our government is investing an additional $14.75 million to further expand access to mental health and addiction services. This money will go towards safely resuming in-person counseling services, virtual services, and providing care in congregate settings. This investment also includes specialized services for Indigenous communities focused on supporting our Indigenous youth and children. Again, if you need to talk to someone at any time, please, and don't hesitate, please reach out. We know that COVID-19 pandemic has increased the need for mental health and addiction services as every Ontarian navigates the new normal. That's why I'm proud that today's funding announcement will help meet this growing need by increasing access to community-based mental health and addictions treatment in Northern Ontario. I'm also pleased that up to $4.75 million of this funding is earmarked to support specialized and culturally responsive services for Indigenous communities, with three quarters of a million dollars dedicated to supporting Indigenous youth and children. I'm proud to announce that we are also investing over $2.9 million to fund eight research projects submitted through the Ontario Together portal. This is on top of the amazing work already being done through the government's $20 million Ontario COVID-19 Rapid Research Fund. These research projects will focus on mental health, ventilation, imaging, and transmission to support Ontario's response to preventing, detecting, and treating COVID-19. From assessing the impact COVID-19 has had on children's daily lives and psychological distress, to researching how we can better treat COVID-19 survivors living with lung damage and respiratory failure, these groundbreaking research projects will help save lives, not just in Ontario, but around the world. We recognize the long road to recovery that lies ahead for all of us. As the COVID-19 pandemic evolves, we will also evolve our approach and support for those in need. We will continue working across sectors and identify opportunities to support innovative services, ensuring Ontarians receive the high quality care they expect and deserve.